Is there a skill tree? Can I be a mage? They literally gamified 9-11. it, YOLO. Go all the way, I guess, if you're gonna do that. Wait to hear about this on the pod. Oh, this? Oh, Will Miniker uh, yeah, is... Half of lurking in chat. Love at South by Southwest is that it's now a top priority to like find and experience this. Every time someone says something like that, I want to do the Muslims were dancing on the rooftops of New Jersey meme so bad. Like, I have to hold myself back so aggressively from just being like, I already experienced it on a rooftop in New Jersey. Every time someone writes some shit like this, okay? And like, clearly, that's a joke about. Wow the f racist islamophobic pieces of who just lie and say that uh muslims were dancing on rooftops in new jersey room is you can see them in new jersey in the vr experience uh there's a trailer for it shut the f up dude are you serious bro who the f would want to experience 9-11 like, you know how people, you know how people advocate for this kind of experience and say, oh my God, someone's a Pete Davidson's dad VR. I like her. Okay. Buddy. Meta themselves have in the past advocated for uh, a similar thing. They've advocated, they've, they've like, you know, talked about doing like, uh, you know, natural disasters and, and, and people have talked about how you can build empathy by putting people in VR. Um, and, and, you know, forcibly get them to understand the conditions of the people that they're, uh, that the people that they have power over or some shit, right? I don't believe in that, obviously. But who the f is like pro 9 11 or something or doesn't really understand the impact of 9 11? It is the most like covered event of all time, especially in the immediate aftermath of 9 11. And even to this day, people still lose their shit over it you know what i mean like this is this is really inappropriate of me to say considering you know my 9 11 takes in the past but like this is not like what what what, what are you like trying to get people world. agitated again to do like war on terror to electric boogaloo like let's get people to watch this so they can feel angry again or something i feel like the pandemic diminishes the importance of 9 11 in both terms of fatalities and the impact of americans day-to-day -day lives i find it impossible to care about 9 11 after covid i mean you're just you're just young i think reminds me of this tweet lamal yeah oh dude yeah prisoners could serve a 1000 year sentence in eight hours Future biotechnology could be used to make prisoners feel as if they were serving a thousand-year sentence, a team of scientists claim. Oh, sweet. Man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. I think they included the Building 7 the in the VR experience. Dude, events. I want to know. Do you think they, do you think they included the, the, uh, the other uh, controlled demolition detonations? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. God, I love... Dude, 9-11 conspiracies are the OG... You know what I mean? Back when libs were like kind of epic. Like that was a time when libs were the most epic in contemporary politics. And then post 9-11, it's over. You know what I mean? It's just post 9-11, a lot of people changed. They literally proved 9-11 to be a fake go. event. Dot, dot, dot. What? A fake event? Like it didn't happen? <laughs> yo that's awesome that's f dope dude i love that i straight up need to understand what's in that person's mind dude that is ooh, that's that's excellent yeah 9 11 was fake brother it was it was done in vr <laughs> <laughs> Jet fuel can't melt steel beams, brother. My dad used to be a Bush did 9 11 live and is now a Trump guy. Yeah, dude, Americans, baby. 9 11 conspiracies is true crime for men. Yeah, loose change, dude. That's, that's what it is. The American government involvement in 9 11 is if you're like the least conspiracy prone, uh, is just a, a lack of intra uh, agency communication. And if you're more uh, conspiracy prone, a.e., you know, 
a little bit more of an advocate for that sort of stuff than uh, totally overlooking uh, very credible threats deliberately. That's it. That, that's, uh, but it's not like, like Americans flew the planes into the towers or whatever. I don't believe that sort of shit. Can't wait for the next VR project in two years where you invade Afghanistan and Iraq and VR heard it's a 20 year game. It is such a pretty morning, isn't it? Wow, Weeby says, just found out the VR experience doesn't include a cockpit view. I definitely wasn't going to make that joke. So, and I'm totally not glad that someone else made it so I could read that in the chat instead of me saying it so that, you know, that so annoying uh, that, that Weeby made that joke. That's fucked up. I would never. I remember that morning. Um, the moon was really it. right. I was feeling really. <laughs> so the pre-order canceled. Came to the U.S. in '98. I just wanted to be the Big Apple, and I was just so excited to be there, to be part of the World Trade Center that everybody talked about, and never thought anything about that. Let's go. Not in my wildest dream. I actually don't know how, I still to this day don't know what even the theories are of how Tower 7 fell. Like, what, what is it? Like, what's the official statement on it? We just did low key. I don't know. I just, I literally just don't know. Is it like a fire or something? So it just like fell apart on its own. No spoilers, please. A plane hit the building. I felt like, oh my God. We're gonna die. I was so scared. I just wanted to get out. Bro, stop. They put you in the fucking tower? That's insane. It's a seconds and that's when the rumbling and the walls and the darkness, everything just come crumbling down. 27 hours trapped under the rubble? Dude, these, okay. I'm serious, dude. We should just, you know, we should just have whoever designed this Whatever kind of sick f design this should just do that. They should just live in the rubble for 27 uh, hours, see if they survive, uh, honestly. Was it and and then they can figure out if happened. they should, I don't know, recreate this in VR. In I mean, dude, people are f crazy. Uh, and also, if you think I'm not going to literally do this on stream, you're out of your f mind, I 100% will. Is there like accomplishments if you like get out first or whatever? Like, how does that work? Oh my God, the opportunities for this. The opportunities for this is incredible, dude. 27 hours. Yeah, I, I, I glitch, I glitched, I glitch hacked. This was the original from 2015. Oh, eight, four, uh, 846 is a narrative driven experience designed for virtual reality, which you embody an office work in the North Tower. Emphasizing the victim's point of view, based on countless hours of research in order to properly recreate the atmosphere and dynamics of the floors of the tower, it was designed and developed as a school project having put our best efforts to craft a compelling and narrative adventure i mean you you should be able to role play as like a cia guy uh setting up a thermite just, i just i'm just saying like that's not what happened but like it, you have to be able to do that if you if you what is it like if you hit like checkpoints they let you at Fasana by my uncle's brother-in-law is admiral mccraven and, and the one day he has ever missed of work was 911 he called in the day sick and the plane hit what would have been his office I don't know if it's a coincidence, but it's sussy AF. Are there unlocks where you can get like a machine gun and shoot at the f plane that's coming in if you if you're quick enough, or you get like you <laughs> you're fast enough if you hit checkpoints quick enough, you get parachutes for everybody. Is there a skill tree? Can I be a mage? They literally gamified 9/11. It YOLO. Go all the way, I guess, if you're gonna do that. How about a VR as an Afghan kid seeing his home get bombed? Okay, I'll get back to you on that around 10. Look at Audrey, what the f Bro, if I got this like Matrix Neo style weird message on 9-11 on my f you know, Pentium 4 computer, I mean, really? If they're going to do that, then, you know, they might as well turn it into a full gamified uh, version. 
I that's look at that. That's creepy. World like Elden Ring. Um, that's creepy. Only a leftist raid, only a 5L, also year incoming. Thank you. By the way, we have this meeting at. <laughs> Can't wait for the microtransaction. <laughs> what the, the fuck, dude? That is completely insane. Every part of that is insane. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. The injury. The World Trade Center just didn't collapse with me. Looking I just wanted to die. I was like, let me go to sleep and not wake up. It's going to be the same for me every year. I'm just going to be thankful and grateful for being here. Imagine the boardroom pitch oh, for this more. game. Dude, I love when people go, hey, this might be a bit triggering. For who? The people that, like, survived 9-11? What are you, insane? Yeah, I, I, I don't think that they're going to... Uh, yeah, you know, I don't think they're going to play this game. I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, uh, I don't know I if you know this, but this might be a little triggering for people DLC. who survived massive terror attacks. Like, world-changing massive terror attacks. Okay, so, like... You know, a hundred thousand people oh, that will definitely avoid it. this. I hope somebody's working on DLC. I mean, I, I think that this is crazy. It, it is crazy. I can't. I don't understand why they're doing this. But if they're gonna do this, then they should just like. Oh, baby one piece keeps. If they're gonna do this, they week. should. They might as well do like you know, go the full Monty and just like go buck wild, do crazy sh with it. You know, see where it goes. When the Kunduz Hospital DLC drop, I hope it's not pay to win. Yeah, I mean. Nine months. You, you pay no matter what. Us informed. American taxpayers quite literally paid for uh, all of those people that trained the other fighters. They did also, uh, you know, the, the, the people that flew the planes also got literally training in the United States of America. So it is pay. It, oh, the people that got the W there is obviously the terrorists. And, uh, you know, we paid for them. My cousin died in the attacks. It does trigger me to see, but I'm not a child. I can just not watch if you play. We need an option to play as Mark Wahlberg. Yes. You should be able to, Mark Wahlberg style, suck the, the terrorists off to stop the attacks from happening. Here's my prime, you filthy himbo. That's all I'm saying. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, Mark Wahlberg once famously said... He would have, you know, our boys from Southie, if we were on that, if we were on that plane, all right, we would have fucked them up. No terror attacks would have happened on our watch, all right? I'm Mark Wahlberg. I would have beat them up like I'm doing hate crimes. I'm Mark Wahlberg. No way did he say that. No, he didn't say that he, he said this. This is real. I mean, this is the worst way to possibly show this quote. Or maybe the best way to possibly show this quote. Uh, but he literally said, if I was on that plane with my kids, it wouldn't have even went down like that. There would have been a lot of blood in the first class cabin. And me saying, okay, we're going to land somewhere safely. Don't worry. He definitely blinded a Vietnamese guy. Mackie Mack. Yeah, he did. He beat up a... Was it a Vietnamese man? I thought it was a Korean man. He beat up a Vietnamese man uh, in, a, in a hate crime, and uh, the dude w uh, went blind in one eye. Not exactly a good dude. It was many, many years ago. I don't think... I, I don't think he's like... Uh, he probably isn't like that anymore, but...